Hi, this video is about how to create this metal frame divider using AI House. I will use free modeling to draw the metal frame and then the middle frosted glass I will be using a super panel and change the material to frosted glass. So let's get started. I'm now inside the free modeling. I'll start with a rectangle and the size is 1002 and 2001. And then offset inward at the DMM. This will be the outer frame. Offset another 20 as the inner frame. Next, draw a 300 mm square on four sides. We're gonna make the arc later on. Then draw the arc inside the square. We're going to draw a frame here, so we need to draw two arcs. The inner one I will put 70 and then the outer one 75. Repeat the same steps on all the four corners. Next, we need to delete the unwanted lines carefully. Make sure you select the line, not the region when you delete. If you accidentally click on the region, just click anywhere outside to clear selection and then you select again. Make sure there is no line inside the frame. Okay, I'm done with the bottom part. Repeat the same steps on the other side. Done. So here I'm going to group it first and then copy another one. And then we put a side for later use. So for this one, we're going to ungroup to continue working. Next, we're going to add some auxiliary first for us to draw the inner frame. So let's say I leave 400 on both sides. Okay, and then 10 as the frame thickness. Okay. So, and then 100 distance from top and bottom. Okay, add on another 10. For the thickness okay please ignore the middle line for now we're gonna do that later okay next we draw a rectangle based on the auxiliaries okay I'm drawing the inner rectangle
okay and then we offset outward at 10 mm to get the frame then we clear the auxiliaries next draw a 150 mm square on the four corners to make the arc it's the same steps as the outer frame Okay, now we draw the arc. For the inner one, I will put 40. And then the outer one, 45. Again, delete all unwanted lines. Next, we're going to make the center division. Use auxiliaries, find the middle point. And then we add 5 mm on both sides to form a 10 mm bar. Then we draw the rectangle. Okay, clear the auxiliaries and delete unwanted lines. Alright, next. For the middle section, the frosted glass, we're going to find the middle line first. And then we add on 300 on the top and the bottom. Okay, we draw the rectangle first. Okay, and then we add on 10 mm to make the frame on top and bottom. Okay. Draw another rectangle. Okay, done clear auxiliaries and then we delete the unwanted lines you need to make sure that the frame is clear without any lines inside
Okay. Now, we can delete the unwanted regions. The blue is the regions. So we only need the frame. Okay, you can keep the middle part if it is not a mirror or glass or any effect with reflection or transparency. So, but for now, it's a frosted glass, so we are not going to use free modeling for that. So I'll just delete. We're going to use a super panel later. Okay, now we can stretch the inner frame first. Let's say we stretch 50. Okay, and then I will copy another set as a backup, just in case. Okay, I will usually do that. Just in case anything happening. Okay. So now I will delete the two outer frames. Okay, and then I will group this. Okay, and then I will continue on the outer frames using the set that I copied earlier. But I will copy another set as there are two frames here sharing some lines. Okay, so I will delete the outermost frame first for this one. This one you just add a back because it's shared with the outer line. Okay, and then we stretch this up. Okay, and then we group this. This is the second frame. Okay, now we get the reference line, which is the media line, and then the 300 top, 300 bottom. I do this because I forgot uh, which line I copied to just now. I mean, which line I used to make the frame. So, and then we just move it accordingly. Again, we group this first. Okay, next, the outermost frame. Delete the inner one first, and then you stretch the frame. Okay, and then you group it. Always group your objects when it is done. Again, okay, now we combine the two. Okay, we will use this line as reference. Okay, done. And then we the middle one, we will stretch it back down to 50. Again, we group this together. Alright, and then we can rotate 90 degree. So now we have done the free modeling part. So the following is the frosted glass. We're just going to use a super panel. 
Okay, you change the size to fit in the frame. Okay, and then rotate. And then you use Z to move it to the frame area. Okay. Then you change the material to a frosted glass. So we have done. So this is how to create a metal frame divider using AI House. Happy trying. Bye.